Hello, Geminis. Welcome back to my channel. This is Maya. So, Gemini, I'm going to be reading for you, but remember, I could be forgetting about you, the cross watcher, a third party, or somebody just surrounding your energy, okay? Um, I am going to pin down in the comment section to get a free reading with me. The instructions are there. Please follow the instructions how I put them down to um, be able to get a free reading. I will be, I'll be picking somebody um, in the middle of August, okay? I don't know I'm going to pick them yet. I don't know the date yet, but I will be picking somebody. So let's see what's going on with my Gemini. Minera, what does Gemini need to know at this moment? What does Gemini need to know? I feel safer in silence. I don't know how I feel anymore. So somebody here obviously is having a problem here where they don't know how to feel, where they don't know how, how they really feel about somebody anymore. And they're not talking about it. Somebody here is staying quiet. It could be you. It could be your person. It could be in any situation. It could be a family member. It could be a friend. But it's indicating more to a person. Let me see. Give me one more. For Gemini. Somebody doesn't do it's like you're not feeling it anymore. Let me see. It might be you. Let me just stay quiet. Do not cause problems. I'm in a much better space right now. Headspace right now. So somebody here, you might have left them, or it might have been a breakup, whatever it was. But I feel like there is a commitment here or something going on with a person here. They don't want to talk and they don't want to see how they really feel. And it's like they're not sure if they want to be either in a commitment, whatever it is. It doesn't have to be a commitment. But I feel like somebody here feels like, I don't know, maybe somebody said something already and somebody feels much at ease right now. I feel damaged. I just, I just can't do this. The bottom of the deck. So somebody here feels damaged. They might just be going through um, things right now. But I feel like th there's something here where somebody's not saying something to somebody here. How they feel. And they'd rather stay in silence. But they're not feeding them themselves anymore. Here. Let's see what the title has to say. For Gemini. Mineta, what does um, Gemini need to know about the situation? What else? Yeah, somebody try to keep you stuck. Or somebody just needs to... Yeah, like somebody here at some moment was stuck in an energy of emotions uh, where they couldn't get unstuck. Somebody has walked away from that. So it makes sense what the card is saying here. The Emperor is here. And Justice is here. So, you know... You could be a person that's very structured. You could be a person that's a female or a male. It doesn't matter and have a lot of authority. The way you speak, the way that you act, the way that you move. Or it could be somebody here that you're dealing with here that likes to control situations, that likes, likes to be... It doesn't have to be always an authority figure. Yeah, it could be a person that's an authority figure, a cop, uh, a person that works in a courtroom, a judge, whatever it is, or you work in some type of way like that. But, and with the justice card next to it, somebody might be working in a courthouse, a judge, if somebody might be a cop here looking at the reading, you know, whatever it is for you. But I feel like it's more like wanting to take control of someone here. And it's not going to happen because justice is coming into your favor. Somebody might have filed a restraining order is what I'm hearing here on somebody here. So be careful with this person because I feel like at the end of the day, I'm not even throwing down the, the deck yet. But I feel like somebody's obsessed here with somebody severely. I feel like you've moved on with your emotions. I feel like you've done some healing here, Gemini, within yourself, which is good. You've done some healing within yourself. I feel like you were in a situation at some point. Look, stuck. This could be a commitment. You were in a situation at some point where you were stuck. You didn't know how to get out of it. And with the 
with the eight of swords in reverse it's like you got yourself out of a situation where emotionally it was hurting you in some type of way i don't know why i'm i don't know why i don't know why i'm guided to even shuffle them let me see what else do for gemini what else for gemini wow there's a lot to say here that's too much Let me see. That's too much. Yeah, there is a commitment here for sure. There's a commitment here. You know, you got the two of cups here. And you got the world of fortune that came out like this, almost in reverse. So something here is, is showing me that something is not working. Or something is about not to work. Or, it's, or it didn't work in the past. Or somebody's trying to fix something here. I'm going to leave it in reverse because it landed like this. Or it's headed to reverse. It's so it's kind of like the Wheel of Fortune is all about karma moving forward or even going backwards. But it has to do with two people here. There's love here. I'm not even going to lie, Gemini. There's love here. And if there's a commitment here and y'all doing good, you're very much in love. And But there might be a situation in court here where it possibly can go wrong for you. So whatever it is, papers that you're signing, a business, uh, a house, um, whatever it is for you, be careful because it can go wrong for you. It is going to go wrong. And I'm sorry to say that, but there's something going wrong here with two people. And it has to do with um, papers, court, whatever it is. It could be even a divorce. But I'm seeing here something going wrong in a courtroom with two people. And you might not even expect this. this might, you might be saying, okay, that's not mine. Maybe it's not yours. But I'm seeing two people headed to a courthouse. Or somebody getting arrested or something like that. But there's something here that, I don't know, it's... I don't know. There's a cop involved here. I don't know. Let me see. What else here for um, Gemini? What else for Gemini? Minera. Okay. There's a lot of throwing. The, okay. The cards are like throwing themselves around and doing 360s here. So that's indicating to me something here is not going right in a home, in a situation. Yeah, the past is coming in here. But there's also like um, trauma issues here. So somebody could be a controllable person because of their trauma. And that's not an excuse to be controllable with somebody. Yeah, it's sometimes it just comes out and people don't notice it's coming out. And they don't even know where it's coming from until they speak to somebody. Um... But I feel like you're going to be st standing stable. You're going to be standing in your own energy. You're going to be standing and, uh, you know, you're going to be balancing your life out. There is some karma you have served here, Gemini. It came out like this, okay? So you, there is some karma that you Geminis are serving and everybody serves karma. So do I. That you haven't finished yet, okay? Okay. It doesn't mean that everything is going bad for you. You could be standing right now. You could be in an energy right now where everything is going good. But there's some sort of karma in your energy from something here from the past. Or from a past life or whatever. But there's something here from the past. Somebody's thinking about the past. Somebody's, I don't know, maybe it's somebody here from the past. I don't know because I'm getting here that two people are in love here, but I'm also getting here that somebody here is serving karma for something that they did and it's somebody from the past. But at the end of the day, it's like these two people still in love with each other. Whether you're with this person or not, you both still are in love with each other. You might consciously not even know that you're still in love with somebody here and they're still in love with you. There is um, somebody from the past coming in here. 
It could be friends. It could be family. It could be something here that needs um, to balance itself out here. There is love here. There is a soulmate connection here that could last for a lifetime here with a person. If things are done right. Okay. There has to be balance in the situation here. Because somebody wants to be over the other one. Okay. I'm going to control you. No, no. I'm going to control you. So there's something going on here. With two people here that want to control each other. And there's no balance that is going to end. And somebody here wants to end it already. Somebody got their self out of that energy. Somebody here doesn't want to say it. Is what I'm trying to say. Like the card said. It's like, I don't know. Somebody's dealing with somebody here from the past. I can't sure about it. Or they met up with somebody and they found somebody. Or they, they I don't know. But I'm picking up like somebody bumped into somebody from the past. And it's like, I don't know. It was like a high and buy thing, but it ended into something else. I don't know. Like, this shit crazy. Like, let me see, bro. Why is the Eight of Swords for Gemini in reverse? I just, I, I don't, it's not that I'm laughing, I'm grinning. Because I can't stand people that are in the fuckery. I, I just don't. Why is the Eight of Swords in reverse here for Gemini? The Page of Pentacles. So yeah, you've released yourself from a lot of emotions and you're worried. You're just worried about your stability. You're worried about your money. You're worried about offering things. Not only to yourself, but to people here. That you care about here. There's going to be an offer coming in here after something so big and so emotional that happened to you. You might be moving to a distance or it might be already moved into a, you might already moved into a, a, a certain distance for a job offer here. But I see somebody making plans here for a trip, a vacation, something like that. So if you are planning a vacation, just go ahead and go, go out on a vacation and have the, listen, have a hell of a time. You know, try to be a little bit more, um, whoever this is that I'm picking up on, they're very, very controllable. Let me see. Why is this emperor here? I'm not liking the way this emperor's lurking. Why is the emperor here for Gemini? Even though the emperor's good, but I'm picking it up in a different way right now in this reading. Justice will be served. The world card. So you need to keep on moving here. And just put that power in yourself, that structure is in yourself. You know, be that authority for yourself. Be that authority for whatever you want. You're gonna be, you're gonna be doing beautiful things, okay? So you might just be having a vacation here with the world card. Or it might just, you know, be moving on to balance your life out somewhere else. I feel like I feel like this is another place you're going to, another country, another state, which is gonna be better for you. Don't let nobody control you. If anything, and I don't like to say this, you control them. Because it's the energy that I'm picking out. Two people want to control each other. The Justice card. Whoa. Okay, that wanted to come out. The Ace of Swords. Yeah, the truth is going to come out. Justice is in your favor. Whatever here is happening that I'm picking up on, the truth is, will be coming out. The truth always comes out. Somebody wants to tell you something, but they don't know how to say it. But it's looking good for you, Gemini. Let me see. Why is the World of Fortune reverse for Gemini here? Why is the, why is the World of Fortune reverse for Gemini here? Yeah, somebody's moving on. Somebody's jumping the leap of faith. Somebody is, it's like, it's 
Instead of going forward, somebody's going backward. Somebody found a good person here, and instead of moving forward, they want to move backwards. Then why the fuck are you in a relationship? Or why the fuck are you dealing with somebody? I don't get it. It doesn't matter because you will be jumping that leap of faith. But be careful. Okay? Because there is karma here that has not finished being served for somebody here. So be careful in what you do. And I'm not saying that you're doing something wrong. I'm just saying be careful what you do. Because there is karma going around here for something that from the past. Somebody might be taking a cruise here. Is planning a cruise or just came back from a cruise recently. You might have met somebody in that cruise. This person, um, whoever this is, it doesn't have to be in a cruise. Somebody here wants to tell you that they're in love with you. But they don't even know how to say it. This is for some other um, Gemini's I'm picking up here. Oh, let me see the two of cups. Okay, well, I don't know if it was that one, but it wanted to fly out. And it was, yeah, the two of pentacles. Somebody's juggling here. Somebody's juggling here. They're juggling a situation here where they should be, where they're being loved here. There's two people in love here, but somebody's juggling here. I can't sure quote it. Somebody's juggling here. The hermit card is in the bottom of the deck. Somebody's thinking too much about this, but somebody's juggling here. Why is the two of pentacles on top of the um, two of cups? Minera. Confirm it on camera. The Six of Cups. Somebody from the past. So somebody here is juggling with somebody from your past. It could be an ex. It could be an ex-wife, an ex-husband, an ex-lover, whatever it is. But somebody here, like I said, confirm it on camera. The Six of Cups, that is the past. And the Six of Cups is right here. So somebody here is dealing behind somebody's back with somebody from the past. If this ain't yours, don't take it. But this is, I said, confirm it on camera. There it is. They're juggling. This could be about negotiations. This could be about juggling. It's juggling. No matter how you put it, it's juggling. Somebody's cheating here, man. What the fuck? Let me see. This Six of Cups. Minera. Why is it here? Confirm it. Let me see what fucks on the floor. They, the page of cups in reverse. I'm just going to take the ones that landed here. You got the devil card in the bottom of the deck. Very toxic energy here. Somebody might have addictions or they're addicted to anything. It could be drugs. It could be alcohol. It could be porn. It could be lying. It could be talking shit. It, it, it could be just, you know, that there, there, it's like there's a lot of secrets here. It's like. Oh, no. That's weird. There is changes coming in for you here. Leaving things behind. The seven of... Somebody's not willing to put effort here anymore. In a commitment. In a relationship. Whatever it is for you. Dating. Whatever it is. Somebody's not willing to put it anymore. And this is a soul make a contract. This is a soulmate connection from a past life here. You are bringing your own changes to yourself. You have many options that are coming in. It's going to be confusing at some point for you, but somebody here is not willing to go um, or try anymore. This is why this is coming out. I don't know how I feel anymore. I feel safer in silence. Wow. 
Let me see. Me neither. You could be dealing here with, um, I don't want to say too many signs. You could be dealing with Aries, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, um, Libra, Cancer. Any water sign to be at that. Let me see. Me neither. For Gemini, good or bad, about this person, about themselves. Give me something moving forward for Gemini. What else? You need balance. Yeah. You need to love yourself more. You need to put yourself first before everybody. I know you love a lot. I know you, when you commit to anything, a friend, a family member, um... Because that's what I'm getting. A person you love at all costs. But somebody is not paying attention and jumping the leap of faith. Juggling all around the place with somebody from the past they bumped into. And I believe I said it before because I can't remember what I said. There needs to be balance here. You need to start meditating and balancing yourself out more. If you're bumping into anything, if you're feeling like you bump all the time to something, you need to ground yourself outside. I don't know why I'm getting that. But you're a person that looks for the truth and you like to see the truth and hear the truth and say the truth here. Let me see. Give me one more for Gemini here. Listen, somebody here is moving very fast. And when that happens, it's like somebody's moving so fast to not get caught here. Look at this. The Knight of Wands. It's like somebody's not giving up here, no matter what it is. Look at that girl's face, whether you're a male or a female. It's like scared. It's like, um, I'm out to get you type of shit. Like, I don't like it. Let me see. I'm not going to pick up those. Give me one more for Gemini here. There it is. The Queen of Wands. Be confident in yourself because I feel like you already are. You're confident in yourself. No matter where you go, people look at you. You allure people. But don't fuck with me. Because I will switch in three seconds and fuck somebody up. And this is Gemini saying this. Okay? Love yourself more. Put yourself first. That confidence that you're hitting right now is big. You have a lot of confidence here. You know, moving forward, you can create whatever you want. The magician is in the bottom of the deck. So there's somebody here that is a person that plays a lot of tricks. Go outside and balance yourself. Not balance yourself. Ground yourself to earth. Because that's going to make you feel better. But there's some truth you're looking for and you're going to find it out. Or there's somebody coming here to tell you something you don't know. You're in your full confidence here, Gemini, no matter what it takes. And there's some Geminis here moving forward to a better life, to a new city, to a new state, to a new country, whatever it is. You might meet somebody there. You might even find somebody there that lives there. Or you might be just headed to a direction where somebody from your past lives there. You feel me? And it's going to be good for you. You might just meet somebody there, you know, single, whatever it is for you. You know, just doing what you do. You might just meet somebody there and it could, it could just potentially fall into something good that you might just find love with somebody there. But moving forward for some of you Geminis, you are going to move forward to something really great here. But the most thing the Spirit is saying here is love yourself because you're going to find somebody that loves you here. It's going to be like a soulmate connection, but there is somebody here that's doing something wrong here. Your confidence is what always moves you forward. No matter what. Remember, go ground yourself because it's needed and don't trust this person, whoever it is. Love you. I wish you the best of luck and I'll see you later, my loves.